Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, as I'm sure you all know already on this channel, we love minis. Uh, so because of that, we are going to run a new series uh, for the channel, which is dri uh, viewers drives. So yeah, let's run the graphics and get into it. Minis have always been really unique. Uh, there's no two are ever going to be the same. Um, even leaving the factory, there was no two minis which would have been exactly the same spec. Every one is as individual as its owner. And well, the mini in question in today's video is certainly one of a kind. This is a very special, special tuning inspired mini, one with a really cool backstory. So let me introduce you to Phil Somerville's special tuning inspired mini. Okay, so the very first thing that uh, we see about uh, Phil's mini is obviously the very unique paint scheme here. Uh, it's the uh, the white with the blue and the red over. Um, there's a backstory to this as well, which we will uh, get Phil to explain later on in the video. But uh, he did tell me that at the time the color uh, was uh, colors had to be kept in uh, the Austin Rover British Leyland package. So it is um, Rover Diamond White uh, main body with Austin uh, Rover Nautilus Blue uh, on the top and then obviously the flame red stripe uh, going along the flanks as well. So uh, keeping in with the whole uh, British Leyland uh, garage there as well. Just coming around the back of the Mini here, um, Philip has also added the, uh, the Mark II taillights to this uh, as well, or early Mark III's uh, with the Lucas 576 uh, spotlight there wired up for reversing lamp and the uh, right hand tank is a dummy i believe as well you can check that once we open the boot uh, group two wheel arches in body color and of course now the very ra uh, rare wheel as well being used here so these are mma alloys which he has uh, painted in gold there as well for a bit of extra cafe racer brake horsepower just to add to the British Linen Special Tuning uh, thing, he's added a few uh, stickers here as well. So obviously we have the British Leyland Special Tuning um, decals there and the uh, British Leyland uh, roundel on the apel. Around the front then, we've gone with the Mark I Austin uh, grill and moustache. And uh, just we'll talk about spotlights here for a minute. Currently with the uh, CB, uh, CB Oscars on the front here, but uh, Philip also has uh, opportunity to change to some other uh, spotlight setups okay just jumping inside the mini here first thing that comes is their front and center is this really cool dash setup uh, which Philip made here himself and um, all rally inspired with the uh, Austin 1300 GT steering with the same as I have in the Traveler currently and as well these very special uh, one-off uh, seats as well so a lovely place to be in here, I'm sure, which we'll hopefully get to experience very soon. We just lift the rear seat, uh, front seats here, access to the rear, matching rear seats, and a safety device's rear roll cage fitted here as well, as Phil does use this car for uh, navigation rallies. So safety first. Okay, so we just popped the bond here as well, so that's uh, given us access to the A-Series engine here. So this is originally a MG Metro engine. It's an original 1275 MG Metro, which has been given a plus 40 bore to give 1310 cc. Um, fueling and breathing is through the uh, twin inch and a quarter HS2 uh, carburetors with the pancake filters there. And we also have obviously the MG Metro head fitted there as well, and that's mated to the uh, standard uh, four speed rod change gearbox with a 3.44 diff. Brakes, as you see here, are servo assisted. And uh, something I didn't mention on the external shot is that the car is on 10 inch wheels, so running with Cooper S uh, 7.5 inch uh, discs and calipers. like it 
before on the road, so I just fancied something unique, so that's what I went for. Okay, and the paint colours then that you picked as well, um, I mentioned earlier that they are all uh, from the Rover and British Leyland stables as well, so again that was important to keep, to keep that heritage open I'm assuming. Yeah, I just, I wanted something that were all mini colours, just so that it, rather than just picking random blues and random reds, I just wanted something that was all Austin Rover, so it's not as, not as blue, I think it's a, it's a colour that used to be in the old mini cities in the 80s, it's um, blue and red, and then there's uh, diamond white.